Hello Drupalers, this is Natalie with a new screencast on Barracuda Agar. I have already done one tutorial on how to install Barracuda. However, there have been some changes to the script and I've also wanted to draw your attention to a few very important things that I've kind of glossed over last time. So in this screencast, we're going to install Barracuda as quickly as we can, and then we can proceed with the um, Octopus installation. As usually, we're going to be using the fresh installation of Ubuntu, and I will do it on a virtual box, but it's going to work the same way on a remote server. Since I'm installing um, Agar on localhost, I'm going to add um, the Barracuda URL to my host file, just like this. And then we can follow the instructions from the install.txt on the project page. So I'm going to copy over um, the install script to my server and then I can edit it. As you can see, it's pretty well documented and I highly recommend you read this because it can be customized according to your needs. Now, you do always need to change your email, obviously. I'll just be using my local host email. You can also change the PHP version for your Agar master or even an Octopus instance, which can be helpful if you, you have some older Drupal 5 sites, for example. This is where you can specify additional software for your server. I'm going to add Apache Solar. I'm going to turn on the autopilot option so that the installation will actually go more quickly. In my experience, you don't need to fill out the um, IP or host name if you're installing it on the actual remote server with the properly resolving domain name. However, since we're doing it on a local host, I'm going to be more um, specific here. I'm going to disable the DNS setup test on localhost, but again, you don't have to do that on a remote server. And the same goes for the SMTP relay test, because I'm not sending out emails to the outside world anyway. I am not changing anything else in the file, so let's save it now. I'm just going to add my master agar URL to the host file. And now I can actually run the installation script. All right, and this is a very important moment, it has to do with the database password. The difference between the standard Agar script and Barracuda is that Barracuda actually generates password for you. You can see it right here. And so the first time the script asks you 
for the password you hit enter for none then you say yes to setting root password and then you actually get this password and enter there twice As usual, you get the um, first login link to your Agar installation. If you list the contents of your root directory, you can see there is a barracuda config file with all your settings. And uh, anytime you run the um, install or upgrade script, it's going to look here. Also, if you go to var, var eager directory, you can um, check the install log. So that's pretty cool. And you can actually connect to MySQL just by running MySQL. So just a few tips. After you install Barracuda, the next step is installing Octopus, which adds Agar satellite instances on the same server. Now, you might be wondering why you need more Agar, um, why you need more Agar instances if you already got one. And admittedly, you can use it to host your sites, but it's not actually recommended for several reasons. One of them is that Octopus comes with a bunch of pre-installed platforms with various um, patches and improvements. So for example, if you want to try Drupal Commerce, here it is. Another reason uh, is that um, satellite instances have various um, additional modules and other functionality, especially related to caching. And if you don't use those instances to host your sites, you will miss out on that very important uh, performance improvements. And that is why I highly recommend that you install at least one Octopus instance. Even if you just, you're the only person that works on your server and you only have one site. And another upside is that uh, if you break things, it's not as crucial because you can always install another instance. And really it's just a question of again getting the file and running it. So since we have installed Paracute Stable, we're gonna install the matching version of Octopus Stable. Pay attention to the username. This is what's going to be used. This is what the user of um, the new Octopus instance is going to be, and the domain um, and the domain for the um, Agar 
interface is going to be username uh, dot hostname. Um, so, sorry, username dot um, your agar server name. So once again, you need to change the email. Don't worry about the term client um, unless you actually provide um, hosting with Octopus, you can use your own email. You can change the PHP version per platform. Um, as far as I know, uh, the latest um, Octopus instances would use PHP version 5.3 for all of Drupal 7 sites by default and 5.2 for Drupal 5 sites and it's only with Drupal 6 sites where you can actually choose which version of PHP you want to use. This is where you can define the platforms to be installed. I'm going to stick to the defaults. Again, I'm using the autopilot mode. There are more options here. Take your time to get familiar. I'm going to add the IP here but you don't really need to do that if you use the server that resolves to the um, that has a domain name that resolves to the IP address. I'm not gonna test the DNS setup. to make sure that the octopus domain is, has been added to my host file. And when you run the script, you'll see what the URL is going to be. Now we're ready to run it. Well, it's actually going to be installed at a one dot barracuda. So I will need to add it to my host file after the script has run. And you can see Octopus is in, has just installed the platforms. By the end of the installation, you get the familiar uh, first install reset link. Which is not a surprise because Octopus is an Agar instance. Okay, let me just add it to my host file. All right, I'm not going to tell you how to create sites, platforms, or use other tasks because I already have tutorials about that. So I do want to say a few words about the Octopus setup. So for example, you might be wondering where the installation actually is on the disk. Well, if you go to data disk 
this is where um, Octopus installs the um, directories, the user directories. Um, the log directory is the one I recommend checking out because first of all you can see the uh, install log right here. You also have the password for the um, user. The email and the copy of the setup mail. And if you used your real email, you should have gotten it. I highly recommend going over this email before you actually start using Octopus, especially the, par especially the part about deploying your websites. There is a bunch of useful links from omega8.cc site. You can go there right now and this is the good to know section. Um, at the very least, check out the extra modules available on all platforms. You can see there is a bunch of very useful modules that I have used before I actually started, before I actually converted to Barracuda Octopus. And now I don't even have to um, install them on each site anymore because they come bundled up with each Octopus instance. So it's pretty cool. And you can see the um, detailed breakdown on which modules are enabled or disabled. Yes, there are those that are not good in terms of performance. Keep in mind that if you have dev domains that nothing is really disabled there. Um, yes, and the caching is pretty important too. So I guess this is really uh, the basics of what you have to know to be a successful Barracuda Octopus user. So. Um, we're done for now. Um, happy Drupal adventures.